Welcome back to episode 27 of the Bazooka Kickboxing Series, back again with Abiel Delgado. Today we're going to discuss the body kick a little bit in more detail. And just like all of the other strikes we talked about, there's different angles and different variations to every kick. So the main thing when talking about the body kick is looking at elbow positioning. And we're going to get into more detail with and how to kick with different angles to land to the body. But the most basic way on the pads, and you always see me uh, mixing up the two, and it's going to be more of your traditional round kick to the body, which is focusing more on the arm. So I'm trying to hit the arm. The second is more of the, a variation, which is more of a 45 kick. So it's coming just on a 45 degree angle. And there's big differences between the two. Your traditional round kick, which we talked about more in the earlier episodes, more where you want to pivot. So I'm stepping more, and you're going to see me pivot a lot more. And it's more of my power style kick where the 45 kick is less of a pivot and the angle is different. So your round versus your 45. So when holding for the two, um, I like to put the two together. So we'll do 45 kick first and then follow a round kick. So this way you're constantly changing the angle. So when holding for the 45 kick, if you look at Abiel's angle, he's not going to hold as much this way. This is reinforcing more of a round kick. If he keeps it up this way, I'm looking more of that 45 kick. So the key to the 45 kick is because you don't have rotational power, you need to really get on this calf. And this calf driving up is what's going to give you the force and the power in the kick. Because we don't have the pivot, you'll see the pivot more with the round kick. So with the 45 kick, I'm more coming up and back into my position. The benefits of the 45 kick is I'm good and nice and tight defensively. On my round kick, you tend to open up a lot, which opens up your defense. And it's a little bit more difficult to follow with your punches. So if I'm throwing my 45 kick, I can stay defensive with my hands and still be in a good position to attack with my boxing. So let's go 45 kick a few times and back in position. For my 45 kick, I do like to keep my hands more pinned to my head um, because most of the time I'm going to be um, setting up my punches after or I mix the 45 kick with my punch so I can just jab, get my partner's or my opponent's defense up and get right under the elbow. Okay, now we're going to go to the round kick so Abiel is going to change the position of his pad and this time the key is I'm going to start pivoting more. All right, so I have full round rotation. Okay, now that I warmed up both, we'll mix it. 45 kick, round kick, 45 kick, round kick. Okay, let's try to change an angle on here. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit more of a partner drill. This is really more of an intermediate drill because now it's really using strategy. Uh, to hit the body, especially with someone's hand position is really tight, you may have to use different strategies to set it up. But let's first look at the positioning. So Aviel's defense is going to play a big difference. You're going to see those traditional Thai fighters who have that maybe a little bit more of a higher guard. Some kickboxers and boxers might stay a little bit tighter, closer to their, uh, their hands pinned closer to their body. So depending on the defense and the guard of my opponent, depends on the type of body kick that's gonna be better. So let's start with the fighter who comes with a really tight pinned arm and they stay really close. So when you fight someone who's a little bit more pin style defense, this is where I'm really looking to use those arm kicks and the body kicks. So um, I'll start here and we can play around with the arm kick. Okay, cracking the arm style. We call that cracking the shell. This way it softens up their arm. And usually people who stand like this are heavy power punchers. So the body kick to the arm is a good way to shut down their boxing. So you can keep cracking the arm. Okay, when I'm hitting the arm, I have two options now. I'm aiming to land my shin across both. Um, you have the radius here and the humerus. Um, and this is the one you want to really crack on both. Boom. I could even change the angle of my kick 
and focus on getting my shin more on the front. So again, different variations when hitting the arm. Both versus more of the single. Now, say Abiel changes and he starts bringing his elbows up. This is more, if I throw that arm kick, I'm gonna crack a lot of elbow. This is where the 45 kick comes into play. Okay, I can come up under the elbow. Now, if he makes the adjustment and defends, I have the arm as well, all right? So that's how you play it. And Abiel's just gonna change his defense and I'm gonna mix around the different body kicks. So. I'm also changing hitting with my instep versus hitting with my shin, depending on my distance. Now, the second part of this drill is you're gonna use your punches in order to change the defense. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna use my jab, I'm gonna get the body up, and I'm gonna hit. Okay, I might hit and play. So I'm finding the positioning using my straight punches, and I'm gonna mix in my angles. Okay, that's part two of partner drilling. The third drill you can do, it's gonna be punches versus kicks. So Abiel's just gonna throw his jab and I'm gonna use my body kick to stop the jab. I can block, boom, hit the body, boom. Okay, Make, mixing it up, boom. Kicking arms, blocking 45. I can mix my punches to get the body up. Okay, timing everything. Okay. And there you go, three easy ways to work the body kick with a partner. So the easiest way to work this is your traditional long bag. So Abiel's just gonna use his jab, his straight punches, and constantly mix angles with his body kicks. One of my favorite bags to work and drills to do is the, to work with the pull bag. Because it's not moving, it really lets you dig your shin into the bag. So you're gonna see me really reinforcing that 45 kick versus the round. And it all changes in my footwork. So watch how I adjust angles, adjust heights. And remember, not every kick or punch is gonna come in the same direction. By changing angles, it opens up opportunities and you're throwing them on angles that your opponent might not be used to. So watch the different flows. I can mix with my straight punch to get the defense up. One of my favorite drills, I like to throw my 45 kick to start. I'll mix in straight punches and then do my round. So 45 kick punch to round. So we're gonna discuss some common mistakes. And to get a more uh, different mistakes. You can go back to the original videos looking at the right round kick to get some different mistakes and to improve your technique. But when talking about the 45 kick versus the round kick, you have to understand that they are two different kicks. So the first mistake is going to be um, over pivoting for your 45 kick. If you're throwing a 45 kick and you're over pivoting, I can't even control my stance that way. So make sure it's a slight pivot. You don't have to over pivot on that 45 kick. The second mistake when throwing that 45 kick is over dropping your hands. You're gonna find that kick you're gonna use more to set up your punches um, and stay tight. So this way I can attack and still follow with my hands before and after. That's one of the biggest benefits. And the second, if you don't keep your hands up, you need to be able to defend. So the 45 kick is a good kick to work versus punches. So if my opponent is very punch oriented, I can defend my head and chop away. 
The third mistake I'm going to talk about is the lean back. Usually when people throw that this 45 kick, they tend to lean back, which puts your body in a terrible position and you know causes the first two mistakes to happen. So make sure you keep your body frame a little bit higher and this way you're not leaning back. Because if you're leaning back, you're not getting enough power and it's going to put you off balance if your opponent's going to counter. The last mistake is just make sure you use your calves. In order to get good power on that 45 kick, you got to get up on that front toe. That's going to bring your power into the technique. If you stay flat footed on that, um, you're not going to get as much drive from your hips and the power from the ground. So make sure you follow these um, guidelines in order to get a good 45 kick. Wow. There you go, episode 27 of the Bazooka Kickboxing Series, and we're still talking about changing levels. And remember, different angles, different variations of each technique will give you a different outcome, different effect, and it's just gonna make you a more technical fighter, being able to create openings a lot better. So the 45 kick, let's get under those elbows. You can set them up with round kicks, variations to all your weapons. Each will work better in different situations. So keep practicing different angles, keep working those drills. Next episode, we'll talk a little bit more about landing body punches, um, shovel hooks and hooks to the body, um, different variations of that. So hope you like the series and continue to like, comment, share with your friends, and make sure you support bazookasquad.com if you like these shirts. Make sure you purchase one. We'll see you next week.